what we're going to be looking at here is an example here where we use this dollar value LIFO method here to uh, value our inventory and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using a single inventory pool to do that and we're going to determine the cost of goods sold and the gross profit here uh, using this dollar value LIFO method. And first here for LIFO, uh, well that means last in first out for our inventory here so the last goods purchased or made are the first one used. And what we're going to be doing here with this dollar value LIFO method, we're going to be looking at one year here. We're going to have what we call our base year and that's 11x1 and this is where we're going to change from the FIFO inventory method here to this LIFO inventory method. And what we're going to be looking at is really one year here where we have uh, uh, one, uh, we're looking at our base year inventory versus our current year inventory and this current year inventory is going to be based on the end of the year here 1231x1 and what we're going to be doing is we're going to determine the dollar value or the uh, value of our inventory not uh, based on a quantity here but based on our dollar amount here and what we're going to have here is uh, for this pool what we're talking about this single pool here we're going to have three items a b and c or those could be three of our items here in our different product lines and what we're going to do is just lump all those together here we're going to have a beginning of the year quantity here that's our beginning inventory for the year here and we're going to lump them or add them all together and we're going to come up with we got 17,000 uh, items here in our inventory and this is what we call this single pool here and that's be beginning inventory that's going to be our base layer here and we have a price a, a price here uh, based on the beginning of the year here 11x1 we have a price for each one of these inventory items that we're carrying here and then we're going to determine the total cost here uh, quantity times the price equals our cost and we sum those for each of our items a b and c here and we're going to come up with a beginning inventory dollar value here of three hundred eighty thousand dollars now this is going to be a key amount here and then for our current year we're going to have some quantities purchased here for a total amount that we have for each of those items a b and c here and at a specific price the purchase price here during the year that we paid for these items and then we're going to have a quantity sold this is our sales for the year here a specific quantity here and at a specific selling price and for our example here we're going to have um, uh, purchased 45,000 units here for the year but we only sold 44,000 units so we're going to have a LIFO layer sitting in here the 45 thousand units purchased less the 44,000 units sold gives us 1,000 units remaining in ending inventory here. So we're going to have both a beginning inventory amount here that we've already known our dollar value here at $380,000 and then we're going to have a remaining inventory value here for what remains here at the end of year here for at the end of year one here uh, based on our purchases here and what our sales are. So the first thing we have to do with this dollar value life method, we have to determine the ending inventory in units as of 1231x1. So again, we've got each of our items A, B, and C here, and our beginning inventory amount here, those are the same, that's based on our beginning inventory uh, items that we have here, our quantities in inventory at the beginning of the year, and then our quantity purchased those come right off our current year's inventory up here, the quantity purchased here, and then our quantity sold. Those come again off our current year's inventory records here. So what we have to do here is to determine the ending inventory in units here. So we got our begin, let's just look at item A here. Beginning inventory of 6,000 less the quantity purchased here, or plus the quantity purchased of 15,000 less the quantity sold of 14,000 here gives us an ending inventory of 7,000 units. So we've got 6,000 here that we beginning inventory we add to it the quantity purchased for the year of 15,000 and subtract out the quantity sold here of 14,000 and again ending inventory of 7,000 units so we do that um, determine our ending inventory here for each of the items a B and C so we've done that here so we got a total units in our inven ending inventory here of 18,000 units so that's comprised here of the 17,000 units that we have uh, in our beginning inventory plus those 1,000 units that are left over for based on the current year's purchases less the uh, current year's sales here. So the next thing we have to do is we have to uh, determine the ending inventory base year dollars as of 1231x1. So what we do here is we take those uh, uh, ending inventory amounts here that we've calculated for each of the items A7000, B4000, and C7000. So we take the 
ending inventory items here that we have here and take those times the price now this is the base year price now we can go back and look at that and let's go up there and look at it so here's our base year price here that we have when we made this conversion here we had uh, a ten dollars per unit and b 25 c forty dollars per unit so we'll go down here and do our calculation so we take the quantity that we have here at the end of the year times the beginning or the base price here of uh, let's just say a quantity of seven thousand for item a here times the base price here of ten dollars for item a gives us a total cost here of seventy thousand dollars now we do the same here for each of the other items b and c here and we're going to come up with a base year cost here of four hundred hundred and fifty thousand dollars now that's based on our ending inventory amounts here times the beginning or the base year price here as of what we had sitting on in our inventory the dollar amount a dollar value for each item here as of one one x one now the next thing we have to do is we have to calculate our ending inventory in the current year dollars here as of 1231x1. So again, we're going to still work on these uh, ending inventory quantities that we had up here, those ending inventory quantities. We take those times the uh, price here, or the, in case in this case it would be the uh, current price here that we have for those units. That was that we looked at here on 1231x1. Let's go up and look at that here. So we have the current year inventory. We had these numbers purchased here, and that was their price here for each of those units. So we take, go back down here, we take the price for each of those units here times the ending inventory quantity. Uh, and let's just look at an item here. Ending inventory of $7,000 times the unit price of $11 each gives us a total cost here of $77,000. Now we do that for each one of the, uh, each of the other items here, B and C, and we come up with a current year cost here when we sum our individual cost for, for these quantity times the price here we come up with a current year cost of five hundred forty seven thousand dollars now we have to determine our price ratio here our price index so we take our ending inventory here at the current year cost of five hundred forty seven thousand dollars and then we divide that here by the ending inventory uh, base year cost here of four hundred and fifty thousand dollars so the five hundred forty seven thousand came off here our ending inventory and current dollar amounts here and then our ending inventory in the base year amount here $450,000 so we make that division here and we come up with a price index of 1.216 here so what what has happened we've had uh, we've just taken here and it's like what this is what a unit of inventory would be worth at the end of the year based on the beginning of the year so let's or like the inflation amount here the increase in value here. So let's look at this ending inventory, our dollar value LIFO method here. So we take the ending inventory, our LIFO dollars here at 1231x1. We have to calculate that. So the first thing we have to do is we take our base layer here of 11x1. That was that $380,000 amount that we uh, had it in our beginning inventory, that dollar amount here, times our uh, uh, index here of 1. So at the beginning of the year, our index is always going to be 1. So here's that three hundred eighty thousand dollars here and you can go back over here and just look at it again for our base year inventory one one x one here we had those seventeen thousand units here that we calculated at the base year uh, price here and that was three hundred eighty thousand dollars so the next thing we have to do is we have to determine this the incremental layer that was the uh, uh, increase here in our inventory during the year here. And if you just go back here, remember that was that 45,000 purchased, less the 44,000 sold. That's that 1,000 uh, quantity here, inventory increase during the year. So we take, this is the incremental layer here. We take the uh, base year cost here, $450,000. That's what we calculated up here. And we subtract out this base year beginning inventory amount here of 380,000 and then we take it times the price index here uh, 1.216 so this is what the um, this incremental amount of inventory uh, this were the base year costs here and take that times the price index this is what it's worth here at the end of the year here in this dollar value lifo uh, method here eight it, $85,120. So just summing here our base year uh, inventory of beginning layer of $380,000 plus the $85,120 
$20 here for a brief incremental layer increase. We're going to come up with an ending inventory in LIFO dollars here at 1231X1 of $465,120. Now let's go up here and do our cost of goods sold here. So we take our base year inventory, uh, the amount here in 11 X1 here of 380,000 and then we have to add in our purchases here for the year so we can go back and look at that here. So our purchases we came off here with our current year inventory amount here our number of quantity times the price here. So again for our purchases we do that for each item here A, B, and C and for A we'd add like 15,000 times the $11 uh, price that was for the current year price comes up with one hundred sixty five thousand dollars here do that for the other two items and we come up when we sum the total amount here of the uh, quantities here times that current year price here and we're going to come up with one million two hundred sixty five thousand dollars add that here to the beginning inventory amount here of three hundred eighty thousand dollars and that would be our total goods available here that would be the purchases here plus our beginning inventory so our total goods available is is $1,645,000. Now this is where we would subtract out our ending inventory dollar value here in LIFO that was at $465,120 amount that we calculated here. Subtract that from the goods available. That gives our cost of goods sold here at $1,179,880. Now to determine our gross profit. Well, this would be we take the sales here for the year based on, uh, let's go up and look at that here. So this is our quantity sold here. This is for the current year here, quantity sold. And this is what the selling price was here. So going back down here to calculate our sales or our revenue for the year here, we just take the quantity sold. In this case, looking at item A here, we have 14000 times uh, the sales price here of $15 per unit gives us $210,000. So we do that here for items B and C as well here. And we sum these total amounts here that we've for of our total sales dollars here. We come up with $1,290,000. Now this is where we would subtract out. Now this would be our a revenue or our sales here. Now we subtract out our cost of goods sold here. And remember we calculated that up up above here. So subtracting out our cost of goods sold here one million one hundred seventy nine thousand eight hundred eighty dollars from our sales for the period here or for the year here we come up with our gross profit here of one hundred ten thousand one hundred and twenty dollars. So this is how we would take care of a dollar value uh, LIFO inventory method here. Let's just go back on a single inventory pool here and that's where we lumped everything together here into one single and calculated everything based on this one single inventory pool.